Miami. What our comment is in the transportation in Bangkok. We have reached the Kaosan Road, I mean the Kaosan Road stop and we are here in walking going to our hotel. We are going to try this kind of street food in Kaosan. Yeah, it's so nice. It's like a sausage without the sweet, uh, the chewy. You can try it. Yep. They are going to try 50. Like a bread, so it's a 50 baht per pack. There's nothing special, it's just small muffin. Yeah, it's basically like my mom, but it's sweet to me. Like it. So, good thing for our stay after uh, left the bus. So, we are just uh, two minutes away from our hotel, and here it goes. We are here at Kaosan Station. So we are here in our room. Yes. <laughs> so we have one, two. And three, four, five, and six, then twelve. So that will be twelve bed. The only problem is uh, we don't have the lift or elevator, and going up with twenty and fifteen kg luggage will be very tough for our hostel. It's a dormitory type, so we have our washroom in the outside. And I will show you how clean is it. So we have this one, and then we have for the woman and for the men. But as you can see, if we go inside, yeah, it's very clean and nice. With shampoo and soap and also a heater yeah overall it's so nice it's clean yeah it's not private but it's okay we found this food stall in the side of the street here is their menu and also the prices we are now here going to eat in just the side of the street so the store is like this uh, but it's raining a lot we are here in the side now i'm going to try this one another water another water sorry mm. very good and cheap also for the street food this one is superb and it's like the one at the restaurant was super nice what it is called 
I don't know what is it name because it's always on time and I just pointed out which one is this. I think it's a stir fried noodles. Is it? Pork. Ah, okay. yeah, something think about it. There's also ingredients on the bottom as well. Yeah, I think that is a stir fried noodles. We tasted this one before on uh, Thailand Pavilion in uh, Dubai Expo. Now I'm going to taste the authentic one. Tuk Tuk Ride Before we go for uh, street food, we went to Hong Kong noodles which has this kind of menu and it's very very tasty and also it's very cheap. It's a restaurant near in our hostel. We bought these fruits and it's 10 baht per pack. It's very cheap. We found that in Kaosan Road at night there's a lot of street foods. There's a lot of variety like grilled, fried, some exotic like the crocodile and uh, some worms scorpions and we are exploring it right now we are tasting a lot of street foods in uh, near Kaosan Road Thai crispy pancakes. Yeah. I paid for 30 baht for six pieces. Okay. Super yummy. Is it sweet? Yes, tasty. You can try it. Of course, the famous Pad Thai in the street food in Thailand. And also in the end of the corner of the street, there is also a Thai massage which is a very popular in Thailand as well. Now it's beginning to have an interesting adventure. Here is the exotic food in Thailand. Next one will be this one. So it's like a fat worm. Alasa. Chicken. Chicken? Kim is going to try the cricket. Delicious? Yummy. Yummy? For an exotic food? Ah, I don't like it. 
<laughs> we got another free worm. They said it's like a nut. Peanut? Yes. It's good? Yes. It's like peanut? Kim and Paul is so brave to eat that exotic food. <laughs> I don't like it. Sorry. Because I used to eat those ones. Yeah. Okay. In our province. Okay, yeah. Let's go, continue. We are on our way to uh, Sham Paragon, which is uh, a very popular mall in uh, Bangkok. From uh, our stay, Kausan Station, we are going to ride a bus. So that takes around 30 minutes. So yeah, let's go uh, have the cheapest way of uh, traveling bus. Bangkok. We are on the traditional bus and uh, it cost us 8 baht per, per, per person going to Sham Paragon yeah. so it's just a uh, less than five minutes walk from our hotel to the bus stop and then from uh, the bus stop again I think it will be five more minutes even the floor is made of wood see common and traditional way of uh, mode of transport here in Bangkok after 30 minutes of uh, bus ride we uh, arrived in uh, Siam center and now we are going to walk go to Paragon What we have found is a food haven. Corn dog. Corn dog. How is the corn dog? The corn dog is so nice and the chili is so creamy and tasty. Mm. Look, Harap, yummy. Unfortunately, this video has a background music that is a copyright. That's why I'm just voice overing this part of the video. Kim just both a 100 Thai baht of worth of clothes and also 159 for the pants. We are heading back to Kaosan Station and it's, it will gonna take uh, 40 minutes ride by bus. We are waiting here at MBK Shopping Center for number 47 bus and then heading back to the Democracy Mon Monument. We are already walking going to our hostel and uh, what our comment is in the transportation in Bangkok it's uh, very difficult because uh, one uh, the tuk-tuk ride is uh, it's uh, very uh, expensive and uh, for the taxi it will be like they don't want to put the meter they want like the negotiation and if you ask that turn on the meter they will tell you that the traffic on that area is uh, so bad so that's why they don't want to turn on the meter but actually there's no traffic it's uh, for them to for you to force you to uh, pay more without the meter so in the end we just waited for the bus that is eight baht per person so going there and going back so yeah it's much better for us to take the bus and uh, with our mobile just search for the google the in the google map the location and then all the details will be there yeah so uh, we will continue our adventure for tomorrow and we are going around Bangkok tomorrow see you bye, see you. bye, -bye. <laughs>